A GIMP user that subscribed to my list shot me an email and asked me how to create this effect using GIMP. So that's what this video is pretty much about. Um, if you need a little bit more information, check out the description area below, or if you're actually on my website, check out the uh, information above here. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we want to actually figure out how big we want our circle on our pattern to be. And in order to figure that out, we're going to use the image to our advantage to create some context. So just go ahead and click on the ellipse select tool and just try to kind of create a circle. And just try to guess how big you want your circle to be. Zoom out, see if that looks okay. And then if you think it looks okay, just click edit copy. And now that little circle that we just made will is added to our clipboard so we can use it um, so we can start to create a new pattern. So just click File, um, Create from Clipboard. And what GIMP's going to do is it's going to make a new file, and that new file is going to come from whatever we just copied to our clipboard, which in this case is going to be that little chunk of skin in a perfect circle. And from there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this circle and we're going to fill it in with all white, and then we're going to fill the background in with all black. And with this, we're going to use it on a layer mask to create our pattern. All right, and in order to do that, we have to change the color of this circle to the color black. And in order to do that, just right click on your layer and click alpha to selection. Now click on the bucket fill tool and fill it in with the color black. And just kind of click a couple times to get all those half transparent pixels into the color black. Now hit select none. And then now actually, no, we don't want that to be black, we want it to be white. So undo what I just did, click on the bucket fill tool and fill it in with the color white. There we go. Now click select, none, right click and click new layer, set it to transparency and click okay. Move that layer underneath and fill it in with the color black. And what it's going to do is it's going to create that black background on the white circle, which is exactly what we want. So just right click and click new from visible and then click select all edit copy. And now we have a copy of the combination of these two layers together. And with that, we're going to go ahead and use it to make our pattern on this image. If you click, if you right click and you click new layer and hit OK, and then click on the bucket fill tool and set the bucket fill mode to pattern fill from the clipboard, and then you just fill in, what's going to happen is it's going to create that single circle as a perfect pattern on this image, which is exactly what we want. But obviously we don't want it on an actual image, we just want it on a layer mask so it will dictate what's visible and what's not visible. So just right click on our layer and click add layer mask, set it to full white full opacity and click add and then fill it in with our pattern. And just like that, we now have our pattern doing what we want it to do. Now that we have our pattern, we just need to make the background the color black so that all these little transparent spots aren't actually transparent. We actually just want those to look through on a layer underneath and just look through at the color black so that the only part of this image that's actually affected is the face. So if we right click and we click new layer, set it to transparency and click OK, and then move that layer underneath of our current layer and fill it in with the color black using the bucket fill tool. Oh, oops. Make sure that you have it set to foreground color fill, not pattern fill, and then fill it in with black. And just like that, now all of a sudden you have this effect pretty well made. Uh, the only thing that this is missing is the kind of cool how it kind of dissipates as it goes away effect that he had going on with his photo. And in order to do that, we're just going to start getting rid of some of these circles throughout the woman. And to do that, we'll just click on our layer mask and click on the rectangle select tool and then just start kind of creating some guides like dragging down from your ruler and just kind of picking out where you want to get rid of some of these pixels so you know I want to get rid of these three rows 
So I'm just going to kind of do that and then click on my rectangle tool and use it to snap onto those guides just so that I know it gets them perfectly. And then click on your bucket fill tool, fill in your selection, make sure you're set to fill whole selection and foreground color fill, color set to black and fill it in. And just like that, that specific set of circles is gone. Now if you hit control shift T, it will hide and show those rulers for you, which helps a lot too. And let's also get rid of this row right here. So add a couple more guides. Click on your rectangle select. Just get rid of about that many. Bucket tool, fill the black. Okay, so now we've got rid of some of our pixels. And in fact, I think I'm going to actually probably get rid of more as we go on. But for now, I just want to kind of show you what I'm doing. You switch over to your paintbrush tool and you click here. You can actually brush using the clipboard, which in this case, we're going to brush using our pattern. So just scale your brush down until it fits inside of the dimensions of the marquee. And whenever you click, you're going to actually continue to create your circles. I think, I think this actually needs to be 50. No, I don't know. They changed how the brush is calculated in GIMP now. So it's a little different. There we go. Just kind of try to rough it in until it looks like it's about the same size until your square fits into your guides quite well. So now you can just kind of click around in different spots and create these circles. And you know, if you want to hold some and you can use these guides as reference to where these would actually go. And you just kind of continue to do that throughout the entire image, you know, and then you can switch back over to your marquee, maybe delete some of these with your bucket. Maybe click on the paintbrush and just kind of add some. Again with the marquee. Or the lasso tool that is free select, whatever it is you want to call it. And just kind of select more of those. Bucket fill, get rid of them, get your paintbrush tool out, kind of throw some in there. And you can kind of see how it's starting to build. You just got to kind of have to take your time and go through the entire image and create the effect that you really actually want. So I hope this helped. Um, if you have any more questions about this, I'd be more than happy to help. Leave some comments in the comments section below and um, we'll see you around.